I'm ano, I'm b- banana in bed. <laughs> Everybody and welcome to the Filipino Free Thinkers podcast. That's also a video. I'm Red. I'm Pepe. And I'm Talia. And today we're talking about Atom Araulio. Gotcha. Well, oh. now you're hooked because you know he's smart. Oh. He's uh, <laughs> he's intelligent. He's all that. And, and he uh, stands out in the rain for you. Yeah. Um, we're talking about <laughs> sapiosexuality. Um, the idea that some people are primarily attracted. Or I don't know. Or attracted. exclusively attracted. Yeah. To smart people, and they would uh, necessarily find people who are super attractive, but not smart, not attractive at all. Mm-hmm. And um, it's been—I don't know why—it's um, becoming a thing again. People are sharing articles about sapiosexuality. Um, the, yeah. the there's a recent article you can read about it here. What what did the the Rappler article say about? Uh, it, it's about actually this. an an open letter by a open lady. Open love letter. Yes, an open, <laughs> open love letter. Very lovey dovey letter by uh, a lawyer, or I, I'm pretty sure she's a lawyer. She mentions it about yeah. three times in her article. Just three? <laughs> maybe she's not a lawyer. Maybe. No, well, three she said times. that she's okay. a lawyer, and she said that she she met him while she was studying for her for her bar exam, and then mm. she was in law school, and she she kept going on. So okay. I'm pretty sure she's a lawyer. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it's an open letter by uh, a lady named Leah Badilio mm-hmm. for Atomaralio saying that he is the reason why she's a sapiosexual now. Oh, she wasn't a sapiosexual before? Yeah, and then, that's, well, that's yeah. what she says. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she turned into a sapiosexual thanks to this person called yes. Atom Araulio. And um, I, I remember that article, in that article, Atom had to search. Like when he, <laughs> when, when he heard about yes. um, this yes. um, open letter, um, his response was Google's yes. sapiosexual. <laughs> so again, it, for those of you who did not get it, sapiosexuals, are people who are primarily or exclusively attracted to intelligence. You know, that's their primary trait. Now, is this bullshit? A lot of people are claiming that it's bullshit. Uh, a lot of people are saying, no, it's legit. A lot of people are saying they're sapiosexuals. A lot of people are saying, why would you even have to identify as one? And that's what, what we're getting into. So uh, my, for, my initial reaction to this was, fine, um, Leah? Leah. Leah Badilio, um, you might be... Uh, sapiosexual, but using Atom Araulio, uh, you know, to to bolster your argument for sapiosexuality is kind of wrong because Atom is not exactly well. I wouldn't call him. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. I don't know if. <laughs> okay, I don't know how smart Atom Araulio is. Well, definitely he's. I don't know. Smarter than the average person. bear. <laughs> smarter than, than most, most definitely smarter okay. than the average bear. He's smarter than the average um, bear. I mean, he did uh, finish from uh, UP the, Diliman. Yeah, he came from UP Diliman. Finished from uh, finished uh, high school in Philippine science. Mm. So you can say, okay, this guy's. Did he smart. invent a salt lamp though? No, no he not didn't. so smart. No, but the thing but is, okay, so he has a pretty good career as a journalist. Journalist? He's a journalist. Journalist um, or reporter. Man. He's, he he's covered, a reporter for sure. Um, he, yeah. His big break came when he was so brave that he covered the the rain. Oh yeah, yeah. Not just any rain, mm. a very strong yeah, one, yeah. Uh, with without being afraid of drowning yeah, or being yeah. electrocuted, which was a very valid uh, yes. thing to be afraid of yeah. at that time. And people were all like, Applauding, "He's yeah. so brave to to bring us all of this this good news." But anyway, my point is, look at this guy. I mean, look at his Google image. Uh, Page, uh, you know Atom Araulio. He's not ugly. I mean, yeah. he's um, he's pretty handsome. Yeah. Like, and and he's not. I mean, not just on the head department. <laughs> I mean, he, he looks sort of. I mean, he looks like he he might have worked out or works out. Um, he's not ugly. He's yeah. um, he's handsome. He's attractive and all around. He's attractive really? all around. He's not, he's not just a face. So if you say if if you tell me that this girl is falling head over heels for Atom Araulio. Because he's intelligent primarily, mm-hmm. I would be more skeptical of that than say when uh, someone says they're attracted to. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because <laughs> no, no, uh, uh, okay, an uglier person, mm-hmm. right? And then okay, why would someone be attracted to this ugly person? And then they say, oh, I'm attracted to this person because they're super smart. 
They're okay. part of men. So. Okay, fine. I believe you. I believe you. But Atom, you'd be more doubtful. Yeah. And it and it turns out like these people who have been posting about being sapiosexual, they often they often mention people who are attractive also. Yes. Yeah. They're already hot to begin with. They're already yes. hot to begin with. Like even celebrity crushes on people like uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Yes. Uh, or who? Who else? Like that other person, Loki. Oh, there's no other smart like, celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> like he solves crimes as Sherlock, oh. you know. Like oh, that uh, that gets me off because he's uh, he looks smart. smart, but he's still quite handsome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, um, he's not Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. You know, that classical Hollywood kind of handsome, but but he's not ugly. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. let's talk about sapiosexuality then and attraction. Um, I think that a lot of people are attracted to intelligent people. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I'm attracted to, you know, I, I mean, it's a, definitely a plus. Yeah. Yeah. I won't take it against you if you're intelligent. Although there are some uh, articles that say men are afraid or was it intimidated by uh, intelligent yeah. or powerful yeah. women. There was that, that article. But um, I think a lot of men or, or women like see intelligence as a value. It's yeah. a plus, right? Like mm -hmm. um, what's, uh, what makes sapiosexuality a thing that needs to be said, I think, is what? Let's talk about that then. Why do people have to identify as sapiosexual? I mean, wouldn't it be like normal to be attracted to intelligence? Yeah, I find that it's more common amongst women. and It's more common, you, you think like so? I, I, or maybe it's because of, yeah. of my circles that I hear, yeah. a, I hear it a lot more from women saying that they're sapiosexuals. A part of me worries that it's just because uh, because when, when you see these articles, especially this particular op open letter, you'll see that they, they're very obviously sexually attracted to this yeah, person. Very you know? yep. okay. <laughs> you know? yep. okay. Like, the end goal is reproduction there. <laughs> she well, wants, not she, so much. You know you can't... She she wants, like, yeah, yeah. Or recreational. It could, just it could be, be recreational. Friends. Yeah. That's true. It could be casual. She, she wants yeah. the A. She wants the A. Okay. The A. The Atom. Yes. The Atom A. The A. Okay. Yeah. But the thing is... She, I, I feel like she insists that she's a sapiosexual just to make it sound like she isn't easy. Mm, you know? Okay, like there's a value judgment there. Yes. Yeah. Like this is their defense mechanism to say, no, no, I'm not sexually attracted to him because he's an attractive man. As if that were a negative thing. Yeah. Let's yeah. get to that yes. in a bit. Go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> but but for, for at least our culture, it's very common for women to use this as a defense to show that they're sexually attracted because they have a really high set of standards, which mm -hmm. she does mention yeah 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 she, she does mention, does does mention, mention exact, she mentions that exact line yes. that Atom Araldo gave her such high standards yeah, 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 yeah. and that's she why did she's not a have before. okay apparently or something like okay that. let's get to that point I recently read this article about um, Tumblr's new boyfriend what's his name it's uh, uh, the the Star Wars pilot guy a lot of Star Wars fans are angry at me now <laughs> uh, he's Star Wars pilot guy <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Poe, okay, Poe Dameron, and the actor, he was excellent in uh, Inside Lewin Davis, what's his name? It's his Isaac. Oscar Isaac, oh, Oscar Isaac, okay. okay, so this guy has a girlfriend, right? Mm -hmm. And it was on the news that, uh, I read this article about Oscar Isaac having a girlfriend who is not a supermodel, mm -hmm. right? And everyone's ah, just yes. raving about Wow, good for him. He could have had a supermodel, but he chose someone who's not a supermodel, um, who's probably smart. He's probably safe with sexual and all that. I don't. I don't I, that, that was kind of the, the gist, okay, you know, that okay. was the sentiment I was getting from it. That it's this anti beauty <clears throat> sentiment. Let's just uh, put it at that. Beauty they see as something that is superficial and therefore is not as good as other, other traits such as intelligence or maybe sense of humor maybe uh, i mean if you're attracted to someone just because they're pretty shame on you yeah. like what are you are you a caveman yeah. like you know, you yeah. get that yeah. sentiment yeah. it's yeah. not good to be attracted just because of looks um because looks is a shallow virtue there there is that kind of thing now um people think they deserve um something for liking um people not just for beauty mm -hmm. but for some something else yeah it, it's kind of like saying that if if you're like eating food, mm. like you don't care how it tastes so long as it's nutritious. Mm. Okay. That's 
clearly everyone cares about how their food tastes. Yeah, I mean, if you had the choice between nutritious food that's good and nutritious food that's that tastes it's tasty, yeah, yeah, you would definitely prefer the nutritious yeah. food that's good. that's also, also this. Also like, good. why not both? Yeah. Why not both? Yeah. Right. So, yeah. I think like um, it's not wrong to be attracted to just your aesthetics. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. That has to be emphasized because to say that oh oh I like this person how I, I'm attracted to this person mm. because of their looks, mm. and then the problem is the judgment that comes after mm. saying that oh this you're shallow. Because you're you shallow. Like, if you, you like, like someone because simply of... because they look nice, yeah, then that's a problem when you judge someone for that. Mm. Okay. To be fair, it's not like anyone ever says that I only like this person because they're attractive. That's true. Everyone else around them says, "Oh, you only like that person because they're attractive because they're they're not funny, they're not smart." <laughs> huh. And then everyone laughs it off. That's that's me. And, <laughs> but no, like yeah. that's that's what I'm more like that's what I've seen more. Yeah. It's it's the friends who will who will joke and say, "No, no, your your new partner isn't all that great. It's just that they're really really attractive or they're really your type." Mm -hmm. And then the the person who is being associated with this with this new partner. It just laughs it off, and everyone accepts that they only like this person because they're attractive. Okay, uh, I think what the pattern I'm seeing here is that a lot of people think that being attracted to someone is something that they can control. Yeah, you know, something like it's a conscious thing. It's like voting. Yep. Uh, like you could, you're you're judged for voting for Bini or judged for uh, voting for for Grace Poe or whoever. In the same way, these people are saying, "Oh, you, you're like you're liking this person just because they're attractive." You know, like that's that's bad. Liking someone for being smart or being kind or uh, being waterproof or <laughs> is is better, right? But um, according to the research, and you know, we love science. Mm -hmm. We're saying you're sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the science says something else. It's not really conscious how you're attracted to people. It's actually mostly unconscious, you know, stuff yes. that you don't know about. Like, let's say, um, what's her name? Leah. Leah. Leah, <laughs> Leah Badilio. Yes. Badilio. Atom Araulio. And I mentioned this Araulio, Badilio, Araulio, Badilio. It rhymes. <laughs> how cute. But okay. actually, the, the science says. That people she says that too. <laughs> yeah, people tend to be attracted for very random, arbitrary things yeah. like how, how your name sounds. Mm -hmm. Like there was this yes. research done in one country. It's all in this book called Incognito by David Eagleman, I think, and it talks about how some uh, a lot of people would tend to marry people with similar names, like uh, their their name st starts with the same letter. Mm -hmm. They have the same initials or um, whatever. Like yeah. a lot of um, unconscious things. And, and they're attracted to that. Um, it's kind of, um, what's what the term you call it? It's an e externalized egotism, or I, I don't know. Like you love yourself. Yeah. And you, you like look for reflections of yourself in others, in others yep. right? Yeah. So, so these are things we do not control. And for maybe for sacred sexuals, they think of themselves as smart. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a defining characteristic to them. Being smart is important. So they externalize this and look for someone who's smart and are attracted to that as well. Mm -hmm. Right, but um, going back to to sacred sexuality, then um, a lot of these things are already hardwired. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of um, our attraction is already hardwired. Like uh, mostly, it has to do with this is according to the science fertility. Yeah. Like at peak fertility, people are at their most attractive. Or like at least um, mating viability, like viability as a mate to yes. sustain children. Yeah, like even. Uh, even the other traits, like let's say hip to waist ratio, mm -hmm. that's I think um, the ideal is in the range of 0. 0.68, 0. 0. 0.8, or uh, Playboy kept their um, their average at 0. 0.7. Yeah. Like throughout, like the the weight of the women changed. Like they, right? but it they, they, on they the were culture. yeah. They measure. They, like, they did measure. Yes. The scientists who studied this oh, did okay. measure. It's post. And okay. yes. uh, it used to be like uh, the women were heavier and they tend to get lighter across time. But then hip to waist ratio stayed at like, around point seven. Around point seven. Like a lot of things, like health as well is a signal. So beauty is uh, signals usually uh, uh, good fertility and good health. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of people also attributed attraction to blondes. Mm -hmm. Uh, related to that, because people who are uh, fairer skinned and who are blonde, you could more easily tell if they're unhealthy. 
So if you can tell that they're unhealthy, that would be an extra value and people add ex extra value to that yeah. open information. Yep. So, it, you know, it's, these are all yeah. unconscious things that have been hardwired to us. Um, granted, that culture has um, influenced this, this, uh, this attractiveness. Mm -hmm. Like I read a, an article recently about uh, the attraction to breasts being a cultural yes. thing because yeah. there are other yeah. cultures that are not attracted to, have, uh, to women with, with big breasts. But still, a lot of it is unconscious and we shouldn't blame people mm -hmm. for the kinds of people they're attracted to. Yep. Now, um, because the, the sentiment we're getting, and I think the, the people who have been criticizing the idea of sap sapiosexuality is that you are um, subconsciously or unconsciously or what is it, inadvertently uh, blaming people just for liking people for their looks. Yeah. Right? Like, you yeah. don't see someone saying they're beauty sexual. What, <laughs> as, what is it? Aesthetosexual? I, it's even wrong. I mean, uh, pretty sexual. Pretty philiac. <laughs> You know, you, you don't blame people for yeah. that. I mean, you don't have to say that. Yeah. But you, you obviously think that um, intelligence is a virtue and you, you bring attention to the term and you necessarily say some things, mm -hmm. right? Um, one thing that you are saying is, I know a lot of people who do not think that intelligence is the, the most important yeah. virtue, um, the only virtue, or unimportant virtue right yeah. like you set yourself apart and mm -hmm. and I, I made the joke that uh, maybe we should give sapiosexuals medals but, <laughs> but you know I, I'll keep it in check maybe I am blaming people for you know maybe they are really liking people who are uh, just uh, attractive well, I and mean, just intelligent you know, the, it, it, I would consider it if there mm -hmm. if there were a significant number of them that were studied and and this is an unfortunate, unfortunate study, but the rating of their partner's faces <laughs> would like hmm. normally not and fall. And bodies, because it yeah. could faces be and bodies, sorry, faces would not and bodies. fall at their level, mm. their own level. Yeah, it yeah. would if it would fall slightly lower mm. or far lower. And if they had figures about the IQs or whatever. Okay, I, I'm not aware of any yeah. such studies yeah. of sapiosexuality. And, and not a lot of people come yeah. out as sapiosexuals. And actually, I'm waiting for the, for the fan club for Stephen Hawking. Because really, <laughs> really, if you're yeah. a sapiosexual, there's your poster boy, there's Tyson. your Brad Pitt. Bill Nye. <laughs> Bill Nye. Neil deGrasse Tyson. I, I, I'm sure these guys have, uh, have fun fan yeah, clubs. Yeah, they have fun Neil deGrasse and... Uh, but you know, sexual. I mean, and also. But even the art of that guy not... gets more fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. It's, it's right? Neil Buchanan. Buchanan. Yeah. I think yeah. he gets more fans than. So I, I guess Buchanan. um what you're saying is you're waiting for an open letter to someone who's not physically attractive, not or not conventionally not attractive, con yeah. not as attractive as Atom Arulio. Yeah. Yes. Or maybe it could be the fame that makes him more of a target. If if I saw an open letter to random attorney, this person with a PhD and MD, <laughs> you know, maybe I'd agree that you're a sapiosexual. Because uh, I I'm thinking of okay, uh, let's let's flip it around. Let's look for the intelligent women. I don't know. I'm sure people have uh, uh, these um, intelligent women do have. Admirers, yes. yeah, right. Definitely, maybe, Definitely. maybe not the kinds of admirers who would write open letters that are very <laughs> yeah. gushy that say bagay tayo. I am, <laughs> they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that because they're like sapiosexual. I am thinking yeah. about that though. I, 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 really do not know a male sapiosexual, like so, uh, uh, a male who claims that he's sapiosexual. I'm sure a lot of people um, think intelligence is important. Intelligence is important to me. Yeah. I, I guess to you as well. I don't know anyone. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it's not, it's not important to you? No, I, but it depends on what the... We're not... Let's not happen. discuss this. <laughs> okay. okay, so... <laughs> moving on. on. Okay, if it's just for casual, or if it's... If moving it's for semi-casual or formal... You, the, formal. Uh, <laughs> very formal. Yeah, formal yeah. relationship, Black casual tie. relationship. There are different standards that you take, you know, for... Okay, and then there's that other value judgment again. You know that... Um, Oh, okay, it's just for casual, then that person need not be as smart. But if it's, you know, and is that wrong? Like, is that, is that something that you should be blamed for or criticized for? I think that society does tend to yeah. criticize people for, for these superficial things. You know, I think that it's a way of kind of leveling the playing field. Mm -hmm. Because attractive people have it really good. Yep. 
general. they have they have so many advantages in life. Yes. Um, people think that attractive people are smarter and nicer. It's and the and, halo and there are studies show that this tends to actually be true. Yes, you the know, halo it, effect. You know, it's just yeah. it's just a, a correlation thing. They they get ahead faster, um, mm -hmm. especially when you're taller. Like um, yes. you know, when you're tall, when you're attractive, you get ahead not purely because of merit, but but because of your appearance. And because people tend to treat you better. People mm -hmm. tend to treat you better, and um, when you and these people who are being anti-beauty in a sense are kind of trying to level the playing field. Yeah. Like it's unfair that so much value is being put. On attractiveness so so maybe think of the other values uh, because they're important as well but I think the problem comes when you start um, saying that people who are attracted to beauty are wrong or bad or that attractive people are worse I mean you should have stopped that um, there are other values that are important as well yeah stop yeah. there yeah. like don't don't uh, blame people yeah. for for what they like because as this, as we said, and as the science says, most of this is unconscious yep. anyway. Not something you can control. And I think a final point on, on the Atom Araolio Badilio controversy. Like, a lot of people are contesting Atom Araolio's intelligence. <laughs> well, not really <laughs> intelligence. Well, at uh, okay. least I, I don't think that he is a skeptic, for one thing. He's not a skeptic. He, yeah. he did host this show called Hiwaga, mm. which was uh, bullshit. Or it, maybe he's okay. a sellout. It, he could just be a sellout also. Okay, skeptics are not, um, they not do not happy think, with him. Uh, they are not so happy with Atom Arolio. They, yeah. they, they certainly won't write open letters to him. Maybe open letters for other reasons, you know, yeah. maybe be more consistent with, well, with your science background. We actually do have a, uh, an article on our website about Hiwaga, which we <laughs> by T-shirt to share here. Yeah, yeah, so he's sharing anti-science, but uh, safety sexuality. To say sexuals, intelligence is in the mind of the beholder. So as long as people think that he is intelligent, yep. that's really all that all matters. Yeah. Thank you for watching this episode. If you are a male sapiosexual, please let us know in the comments. Please send open letters to, to the women that you're sapiosexuals for. Um, we just, or uh, men that you are sapiosexuals yeah. for. Or men, yeah. I'm heteronormative. Heteronormative yes. of me. Sorry <laughs> about that. Uh, and we, we will talk about this at the meetup, which is happening on the date uh, mentioned on our website. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And on behalf of Talia and Pepe and the Analyst Desk, see you next week. <laughs>